Hi, it's Rachel, the book monster mom with Usborne Books and more. I want to share with you some of my family's very favorite toddler books. This is a book from one of our most popular series, The Muddle and Match. Um, something that's great about this series is it really helps bring home alliteration. So Marvin the Mighty Monkey moves toward the mark on the map to meet the mysterious magical meerkat. So with everything on here, it starts with M, but as you flip through the pages and muddle up the story, you can mix, mix and match and create a crazy animal and a funny story. And so every page makes a complete little sentence, and it's super fun to, muddle and or to mix up our muddle and match books. We have six different uh, titles in this series. Another one of my family's favorite is the Peek Inside series. There's six books in this series as well. This is Peek Inside Nighttime. It was my very first Peek Inside book, and I am so fond of it. It's so cute. Um, so the Peek Inside is a lift the flap, and so inside you get to peek inside and see what's happening at night um, for this particular book. And inside the bakery is baking and, and shaping, or kneading and, and shaping and baking the bread. Uh, my favorite is this page at night when the moon is up and the stars are twinkling, all the streets are quiet, and you look inside and see if everybody's sleeping. And, and here they're asleep. And here the dog's asleep, but under this window, the baby's awake and crying. So on each page, there's something to do with nighttime. Um, creatures that are out and awake at night, things that happen at night. This train works at night, and there's a sleeping car on the train. You get to see that. And then it starts to kind of come as the, as the day dawns. And then over here, um, it goes back to that same scene on the first page. And you get to look in and see if everybody's awake. And these kids are up and getting ready. And over here... The baby's sound asleep now that it's daytime. Cute little humor. I love this series. I definitely recommend it. <clears throat> this is our big book of colors. This is also a bestseller, and I think it's very, very well done. Um, there's a lot of books about colors out there, but this one, um, as always, is a little more hands-on. <clears throat> First, it has a color wheel, and so you can kind of spin it and find um, colors and how well they go together and match them up. And then on each page, there's a double page spread for each color. But this is blue, but it's not just blue. It's royal blue, and it's cornflower blue, and it has a whole bunch of different types of blue on this page, along with a picture that corresponds with it. Not only does it have colors, but it has information about the colors and how things came to be. So there's um, each of the colors has its own spread. And then at the back, it has um, uh, information about mixing colors. And then um, here you can try mixing colors yourself. It's a little cellophane page that as you turn it over, it changes the color. Um, specifically, look at this one right here. As you turn the, flip, put the yellow on, it turns green. So super fun. Um, in the same series and by the same author, we have Count to 100, another informative book that um, is great for the kids. It goes from 1 through 10. And you can count the, the adorable little illustrations here. And then it goes um, on by tens. And something I really like about it is that it breaks it up. This is 40, but it's easy to count because there's five of this type and five of that. There's, there's four branches on each side for a total of eight with five each, which, which totals to 40. So my three-year-old can easily count to 40 and to 50 with this book all the way up to 100. And we love it. This is one of the books from our Lift the Flap series. We have a handful. There's Lift the Flap colors, numbers, um, but this one is all about opposites. And so on each page, there's flaps to lift and open um, about opposites. So this boy's hungry, he eats his ice cream, and now he's full. And each page is a little bit different, but it still drives home the same concept of opposites, but, um, each in a little bit different way. Um, it's super adorable. We love the Lift the Flap books. This is a brand new book in our series, uh, How To, actually it's a brand new series too, How To um, Feed Your Cheeky Monkey. Uh, we've got four books in this series, and they are so cute. My kids absolutely go crazy for these. We have to read them if they see them. There's no questions asked. Um, the other thing I really like about these is that there's fun little sounds like dibble, dabble, dibble, you know, let her use her fingers, dibble, dabble, dibble. She's hooting funny little hoots. Look at all that dribble. My one-year-old even likes to chime in and say the last word of the sentence, like this one over here, there's mashed bananas everywhere, even on the cat, but it rhymes with the splat over here. 
<clears throat> and so it has a nice flow and rhyme to it. And so this is super fun to read. I love all the books in that series. This book, All Better, is one of our all-time bestsellers. It comes with five reusable stickers. And they're not just reusable or repositionable, but they are sturdy um, stickers that can be rinsed and reused over and over again. So the concept of this book is that they, you know, each animal has a wound. They have to be healed and it says clean it, kiss it, put a bandage on it. Everything is all better. And so <clears throat> with each animal, they have a specific band-aid. They have to go find the band-aid that matches the animal and then put it on. So it's not only teaching them sympathy, but it's teaching them association and matching and finding the right bandage. We can't get enough of this one. <clears throat> I'm a Dirty Dinosaur. This is super cute. It's a great transitional book when you're starting to move your kids from board books to paper books, but it's got super sturdy. It's almost like a cardstock page, and so it's a lot easier for them to kind of learn how to be gentle without totally ruining a book. This one's cute. It's about a dirty dinosaur. He's a dirty dinosaur with a dirty snout. I never wipe it off. I just sniff and snuff about. And on this page, you go sniff, 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 sniff and snuff about. And it's so cute because as all throughout this, your kids can get up and stamp, stamp, stamp with the dirty dinosaur. So it's a great book to get up and move. At the end, the dinosaur realizes how dirty he is. That he has to go take a wash. And it's drawn with actual mud. So the illustrations are actual mud and it's super cute. And its new sequel is I'm a Hungry Dinosaur, which is drawn with chocolate frosting and sprinkles. Equally as cute. <clears throat> This is a book from our very first thing, book of things to spot. And there's three in the series, I believe. And this one is things to spot out and about. I love that it helps t kids to like start to notice the differences. You know, can you see a cat riding a bicycle? Well, there's a couple. Well, this cat's in a basket, but this cat's actually riding a bicycle. So it has kids engage in the pictures and start to see the difference. And all throughout, there's just super cute illustrations and things to find on every page. It's great for just sitting and, and, and talking about what's on the page. Not really a storyline, but that doesn't matter. Kids don't need a story to, to love books. The last book I want to show you is Who's Ready to Play? It's a newer book that we have in our lineup. <clears throat> it's got, on each spread, there are a handful of animals, and on each page you need to start and to, to look and start to see the differences, so it'll ask you a question. Who's Swapped Places? So if you go back from here and then turn it over, the, the tiger and the cat have swapped places. On each page, there's something new to look for. Who's ready for lunch? And so you see who's got lunch. Panda's got this, and there's multiple um, on each page. And it's super cute. It's really fun to start to notice things in the book and enjoy a story with your kids. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed peeking inside some of our very best toddler books. Can't wait to see you.